Hello guys and welcome to episode 9 of my Vistula campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Today we're going to be continuing to try and isolate the 80th AA Regiment after winning our first battle this turn against the Axis, pushing back the 46th Panzer Corps. I am not sure how many more can reinforce them, but they've got the 173rd Tank Destroyer Battalion here that can reinforce, and also the uh, Recon Panzer Battalion up there. So, what we're likely going to do is attack one of these. We could probably attack the 4th Battalion of the 173rd Artillery Regiment, actually. They've left an artillery unit very close to our line with no action points. So those would reinforce in phase B potentially, unless they choose to bring in some other units. They wouldn't bring in any aircraft because we're currently using our air superiority there. So yeah, I reckon we can make this work. We just drive through them with the tanks. Yeah, they've got three action points. Let's do it. Okay, let's tactical battle and jump straight in. Uh, they did actually reinforce with the tank destroyer battalion. Perfect. So what this is going to do is remove the action points from those units if we win this battle. And we should be able to do it by the end of phase A. Let's just get our troops down, or our tanks down, should I say, because that's all we're going to be using. Germans are actually really good for this as well, because they have a machine gun that can fire on the move. I think the T-34-76s don't have a turret-mounted machine gun. So they can't really fire on the move like a Sherman can. A Sherman can fire forwards with its 30 cals, but also it has the 50 cal on top. And it also the coaxial, coaxial on the uh, turret. So they've got two machine guns that they can fire in any direction, which is really, really nice. Uh, considering we're just going to be doing this, which is giving quick hunt orders to their spawns. We do actually have a few, couple more points we can use, so we'll put a couple here. Okay, we'll just have uh, one of these go up here, and then one through to there. Great. I might need one for the right-hand side, uh, just to stop our units getting surrounded, but we'll see. We'll just speed things up, and off we go. Zoom, zoom. We're gonna enjoy the Polish countryside. Very nice. But that won't actually come up against many units. It will probably just be loads of artillery stacked at the back of the map at the start of the game. Yeah, we've actually bumped into almost nothing so far. There's something here that we're going to have to deal with. Maybe I have to bring in something. Oh, that might just be the MG. And then MG's very dead. Yeah, it looks like it was just an MG, but we can bring in a unit here. Yeah, we'll bring in one on the right-hand side as well. Although that seems to be all good. Uh, maybe best to have one of these actually go through the town in the middle there. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we bumped into the battery fielder. Looks like we already did some damage to them, but that's going to remove that blob. That unit's probably around here somewhere, so... We will go and attack that. Oh, bumped into no Blitz munition. Actually, I don't think that was a munition truck. That was probably just the Fahrradfuhrer. Oh, we do actually have to be careful. Those SFH-150s can kill our tanks if I let them fire on them enough. How are we doing? We're nearly there. Nearly there. I'm going to have to get rid of whatever units in the way on this side. But we're so close to their spawns, I think we'll just end up wrecking them soon. Now we've discovered a unit down here that's going to die, that's Beerbachter. Uh, maybe I could just let them bring in, rather than taking the reinforcement point, just kind of kill all of the units they bring in. That way we can potentially destroy the artillery regiment. Yeah, seems to be working. Although this one's <laughs> just sat there. <laughs> oh dear. Still managed to get a tank surrounded. 
7 minutes, 5 seconds, 38 kills. Very nice. I think we killed most of the artillery, so hopefully they just get destroyed. Yep, they're gone. Perfect. And yeah, as I mentioned, the 173rd and uh, also the 2nd Battalion of the Infantry Regiment, 70, lost their action points. So now they won't be able to reinforce the 80th AA. Cool. Alright, what we could do as well is attack the 173rd Engineer Battalion. If the Recon Panzer Battalion can reinforce these guys, then they probably will. They can. Good. Uh, actually, these can come in in Phase C as well. But hopefully they'll choose to use these, because I don't want these to move away from the 50th Motorized Rifle Battalion. Otherwise, we won't be able to attack them, and probably won't get control of the highway. But we can definitely drive through these, probably just with the 50th Tank Brigade. We'd have to win by the end of Phase A, which will be pretty close. But I don't think any of these have AT weapons, so they have nothing to fight back. We just kill every unit we come up against. So, yeah, let's do it. We don't want to commit the 50th Motorized Rifle Battalion. I want to keep them for the attacking the 80th AA. But if we get them to put the Recon Panzer Battalion into this battle, then the 50th Motorized Rifle Battalion should have no problem killing the AA on their own. So that's what we're aiming for. Rather than having to commit the 50th Tank Brigade into that battle as well, we get to kill two different battalions. Uh, let's jump on in anyway. Very good. They are going to be bringing those. Perfect. They're desperately trying to hold the line, but we're just pulling them around so that we can just take advantage of them. Actually, one annoying thing about this is it is going to pull the recon battalion down like in the way. Yeah, that's going to be quite annoying. In the way of our other units on the highway. I'm just going to have another unit that we're going to have to destroy. Alright, well anyway, we're not going to go for their land spawns just because there's going to be a lot of units that I've got to kill. A lot of healthy units as well, like Pioneers with 10 men. So the T-34s are going to take their sweet time. If I just drive all the way through, then they're just going to get themselves surrounded and we're not going to get anything done. So I'm going to try and just focus on getting to our side of the river and then we'll go from there. I do kind of want some recon. Um, do these come in M3? No, they don't. M3, I wonder if because they don't. Uh, we could use BA-64Bs. They don't have any ATs, so these would be fine. Yeah, let's do that. I could just unload the Dozos, and then if the BA-64 dies, we don't lose it. We just do, like, unload, and then a shift, like, attack, move, or quick hunt. Shift, unload, and then shift, quick hunt. Okay, and that leaves us with one tank. I don't know where we're going to use it, but we could certainly bring it up. All right, we'll just go for each of the bridges, I guess. Yeah, so that bridge, that bridge, this bridge, that bridge, and that bridge. And we'll bring another one to attack the far right bridge. Okay, let's go. So those all have been up, un unloaded. We can just walk them up to, I guess, the edge here to give us information over the town. But the BA-64Bs, they're going to be really good for, like, finding the infantry in the open at range for the T-34s, but also... Any infantry that's hidden. Actually, do these count as open top? Not entirely sure. I would assume so. Because they've got a little open area on, on there, like machine gun area. But you can see already, like the T-3485s aren't going to be very efficient at killing infantry. And neither are the BA-64Bs, honestly. I guess we could get them, like, up close to MGs. That doesn't really matter. MGs don't even have grenades, so... We just zoom onto them. Also, being in that position will likely just reveal more units around them. Look how little damage that is doing. Like, the suppression is just minimal. 
And the closer we get, the more accurate we'll be. And the hit percent chance is fantastic. Like 85% chance to hit means that every burst of the machine gun is likely going to take away a hit point from the MG team. Good. I'm probably going to just move down and up the road. Just make sure that all of these roads are clear as we continue to move up the tanks. Oh, I did want to bring in a unit on this right hand side. Okay, so they, th they can throw grenades at my BA-64Bs. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful of that then. That means they're not closed on the top. Alright, kill that Commandant. Uh, let's just keep this one back. I'm a little concerned there's something like in between. There's also something on the left side of there. Bring in another tank. Oh, a couple of uh, units coming down the road. Want to kill those? They are recon units, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's maybe move the BA-64B over here. Oh, never mind. Looks like we killed whatever was there. Uh, we're going to have to capture these units on the right-hand side. Or these flags on the right-hand side. Well, that's a shrimp bargain dealt with. I guess these have two-man recon squads in them. Or maybe they're just coming in on their own. Not sure. Anyway, we can continue to drive across that bridge because it doesn't look like there's anything in our way. Uh, but there is definitely stuff on this right-hand side that I haven't seen yet. So we'll go and discover whatever that is. Anytime there's a little salient through our line, I'm just going to kind of investigate with the T-34s. And if we have chance, we can just move forwards the Dosar squads, just in case there's anything left behind. Dumb pioneers, okay. Now these little BA-64Bs are really useful for this. Because now I can see exactly what's in my way. I can use the T-34 to go kill it. This isn't good though. We're getting surrounded here. Well, let's move the T-34 back. And we have bumped into an MG though. So we should be able to kill that. Right, we got the salient across the river. All right, we are pushing the victory objective. I'm actually going to push this one all the way up so I can hit the reinforcing roads. Let's find out what's on this left side. Uh, meanwhile, we'll push across the road with this T-3485 because I have another one here that can kill whatever's there. There must be something here that's holding this line. No idea what it is. Yeah, we'll just get that back into friendly territory. There we go, and then we can push back up onto the hill. Right, we found it. It was an MG. That's good. Yeah, we'd never find that MG otherwise. Because the MG only really fires at infantry. So... Yeah, that'd be annoying. Whereas, like, a Pioneer squad would at least throw their HE grenade at a tank. Yeah, now we've discovered them. My BA-64B can just zoom ahead and find the next target. Although, there might be something on this left-hand side. Doesn't look like it. Maybe further up there is. Definitely something in between. Looks like a lot of Sturm Pioneers, honestly. That's... Still something here that we haven't discovered. Let's just move the BA-64B round. We'll move the T-34 round. We win in six minutes. If we can get it to the point where we win before phase B, that would be good. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe it would be a good idea to like have my T-34s ready to camp the spawn. And kind of relinquish a few objectives in the middle. Because then what we could do is just delete the recon as well.
There's a lot of units here. A lot of units. Do I have any, like, recon tanks? No. Just thinking how we could do this. They've got four reinforcement points. I'd want tanks here, here, and here. This left side would be important. I, I guess this one we could maybe leave? I don't know. Need another recon vehicle though of some sort that's armoured. I don't think we have any more. Also, I don't think I'm really going to find too much on this right hand side for the time being, so. Push up a little bit more. I'm going to bring in extra tanks here. So, we won't push over that objective. I'll bring that up onto the crossroad. Actually, maybe just keep it here. So it can fire up that road without being shot from the left. And here, maybe we just go up to, like, in between. Yeah, that'll do. That's a nice spot. Okay, and we'll probably want our BA-64B here so it can actually spot for these tanks. Oh, okay, this is a bit a bit precarious. The flamethrowers can attack the T-34, so <laughs> we don't want to let them, otherwise they will surrender it. Go. If we actually get into a position where we can push like a like a total defeat in quick time, then I think we'll be actually in a really good position. That would uh, cause the recon battalion and the engineer battalion to both be disorganized if we don't kill them. There's still a unit there. Uh, maybe I just bring my BA 62LB around. Also, I'm not sure we have enough tanks to deal with what's coming in phase B. I'm also going to move back from this flag. <laughs> uh, that didn't really help. Yeah, we don't want to move these up just because we're capturing too much. I want some time to kill stuff in phase B. I guess it depends how much stuff comes in. Yeah, I'm going to move back here. Uh, here, we're not moved back enough. Maybe that one's just the one that's close. <laughs> Whatever way I move, it's not really helping. Also, I shouldn't really force the right-hand side. Okay, phase B. Are they going to bring anything? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, don't capture that objective. I mean, we need to drop one more objective, but I think we just captured one more objective. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Right, let's just, um, let's just push for the total defeat then. Or we'll just have to make them disorganized. If we can. Right, we're going to have to make sure we push onto these now. <laughs> so we actually push the total defeat. Although I think it's just going to be a major defeat unless I can get one more flag in time. Can he capture this flag? Uh, we lost that flag. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so it was a major defeat and we didn't get to kill some phase B. <laughs> Worst of both worlds. <laughs> Great. Uh, 18 kills. Oh, we'll see what happens. Did we disorganize them with a major defeat? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, we did. 
Oh, okay. And the way they're positioned is actually really nice. What would I rather kill? The Panzer, the Recon Panzer Battalion? The Engineer Battalion? Or should I still attack the 80th AA Regiment? Because we can attack those. We can have the 125th Rifle Division reinforce us in Phase B. I think we should still attack them. Just because deleting that and getting it out of the way is really nice. So, I'm probably gonna bring these in at A, obviously. We'll bring in the 125th so we have reinforcements in B. And then we can bring in probably the 57th Motorized Rifle Brigade because they have a lot of artillery. I don't think any of these other ones do. No, they're just battalions with three mortars. So yeah, we got a bunch of F-22s, we got some 82 mils. This will be quite an interesting little battle. It will take a little while as well, because I don't think we have enough to really, like, push hard and fast. It might not even get to phase C. Which makes me think that maybe bringing in the AA would be better. Then again, what am I going to do with the AA units? I guess I can just bring in all of the Sapali. But I'd rather have more mortars. Alright, let's do this. Oh, they had reinforcements. That we can't see. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I guess we'll find out. The Vanguard Hellman Girling. Hmm. <laughs> what does that consist of, I wonder? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, at least it starts at 50-50, it's Conquest. We might be able to win quite quickly. Because I'll already control most of the flags. Um, we just need to push beyond those uh, by the end of phase A, I guess. They were in a similar position to the recon, but the recon had four action points. I'm not sure if they're coming in phase C or phase B. That's, that makes a big difference as well. Not having that information is quite scary. Uh, regardless, um, it's going to be a matter of just Driving up as fast as we can. Uh, maybe bringing in some AT guns isn't a bad shout. Uh, especially into positions where we can see the roads. I don't know if there's any decent spots for them though. We could definitely like unload an AT gun here or something like that. Because they don't have much infantry. They just have all of their weapons, right? All of their AT weapons and the... AA, the 20 mils. The 20 mils are going to be pretty obnoxious, actually. Maybe I could have another one. I don't know how fast that's going to get there, but if we can unload it, say, here, that'd be quite nice. And on this right-hand side, if I get an AT weapon to deploy, like maybe on this road, next to the buildings, we can hide them in the buildings afterwards. We're going to want our mortars. How many supply trucks do we have? We only have two. So I'm probably going to want to do two and one. Which side would be better for mortar support? Probably the right side. Because this side's a bit open. Uh, whereas this is all town. So we'll have plenty of cover to get through here. So maybe just bring in the mortars here. And then have one mortar on the left. We'll bring in the supply truck from the start. And I'll move that up here. And then we'll bring in... That supply truck on this side, I'm going to move it here and we'll have both of the mortars there, or two of them, and then one of them on there. Okay. Great. 
Great. Now we just need some infantry to cover the bridges for us. So best bet is probably just a bunch of uh, stocky DP. I could use the M31 Rajutkas. Bring in Starkey DP on the right. Just want to get them up to these bridges. And I guess we can have a Starkey DP here as well. Yep, and then two on the left. Use normal Starkey. Alright, let's just squeeze all these up as much as possible. Especially the AT guns, they need to be right up the front. Uh, because I need them to get to their position and start sniping transports ASAP. Uh, all of these we can just tuck all the way up. Every second counts. And that'll do. Right, let's go. They have a similar amount of points to us in phase A. Uh, I think they'll have like 10 more. So they'll have a few more support weapons, but otherwise all good. Turn off uh, APCR shells. Reason we do that is because AP shells are a lot more likely to one shot transports than APCR shells are because they have five damage as compared to one damage. Right, if we can get across, then we may as well. Oh, that's an infantry squad. I'm actually just going to have these on fire at will. So whenever we spot a unit like this, the Fafiega, we can just kill it immediately. We actually got across that bridge, which is nice. If we pin these down and kill them, that's also going to give us a lot of ground. I can probably get across this bridge. We haven't seen anything unload into there. I can definitely get across here. I could move the uh, AT gun all the way across as well. It may be a good idea to go and get the supply truck to go pick up that AT gun and just zoom it up. Right, there's three units of Luffy Jäger. Did not expect to be having to deal with those. Hmm, there's also some on the right hand side. Okay, we'll just uh, commit more infantry there, there and uh, that should be fine. Uh, those Salki are engaging the MG. These are just trying to get across. Why is that mortaring that? Interesting. Well, we're already 15 to 9, so that's a good start for sure. We haven't really come across many of the support weapons. Oh, did the uh, <laughs> mortar target the Alphplatter? I guess it did. And the Alphplatter did a lot of damage to my Sharky squad, killed three of my men. An absolute ass. <laughs> Alright. Uh, pick up that 45 mil. Lucky we killed that actually, because otherwise the supply truck probably would have died. There we go. Turned round, pick up the 45 mil, zoom that up, and then we'll give it an order to drive back. Good. If we just get more infantry here, then we're in a really good position. We could also use the M17s to just wreck this infantry. I'm just going to have to keep it out of line of sight of things like the Pack 43s which we haven't seen any of yet. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Let's uh, get the Stralki to move out. If the MG's still there, we'll move the Stralki across to attack them. I'm going to have the Stralki move up and take that position. Uh, we're also going to have to bring in like more units here, so... I may as well just bring in like a couple Maxims or something that can just move into those buildings and be good. Well, we're actually in a decent place to engage that MG34, so I'm just going to let that engagement continue. Uh, my Shaki DP are absolutely battering the disheartened units, so that's good for us. We'll move the Shaki across the river on the right hand side. The mortars are going to deal with those too. 
I still haven't seen a single support weapon. Pretty odd. I need to move that right to the edge. We're going to beat them in 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, if I move these up to the edge of the river, they will just obliterate these units. Also, I may as well actually just pick up this mortar and move it up, because I'm probably just not in range to attack anything right now. And we can move up these units. There we go, that's the Luftwaffe Jäger dealt with. M17 will destroy that MG for us. There we go. Uh, I may as well bring it over to the right hand side to engage the Luftwaffe Jäger there. The Luftwaffe Jäger are probably dead as well. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I'm actually going to move these forwards and if we spot another infantry squad there we'll just kill it. Maybe it's because of the game mode that the AI, the AI is just like probably shouldn't bring in AA units for this. I don't know. They definitely have those units available. Oh, there's the other one. We need to kill that. There we go. You know what? Using these M17s reminds me of Command and Conquer. Uh, Zero Hour. The General's game. Because uh, the DLA, I think it was. Or GLA. Uh, they had a quad truck that was really powerful if you upgraded it. <laughs> and it just reminds me of using that to utterly annihilate infantry. Especially if you were playing like GLA versus GLA, they were really strong because you could just annihilate the the mob units and uh, like if a battle bus got broken or something and all of the rocket units jumped out, then the quads would just mow them down. <laughs> I always remember that. It's actually going to be a total defeat. Maybe we should um, let the let's let's move back. Let's move back. I'm going to let the vanguard come in. Because then they'll be disorganized if they lose when it's a total defeat. Otherwise, they'll just lose their action points. So, yeah, we want to kind of change the timer so that they do reinforce. We want to manipulate that. Our uh, left side, I can't really do anything. But on this right side, we can definitely give back a couple of objectives. Speed it up. There we go. Two minutes. Perfect. So we'll just stop those where they are. I need to go too far back. No, nope, don't auto cover forwards. That's not helpful. <laughs> oh dear. I'm also curious what's going to come in. In 40 seconds, I don't expect them to just obliterate my front line. But you never know. Because they haven't really been using many points. So <laughs> they probably come in with a lot of units. Also, maybe my AT guns will get a few kills. Anything coming? I guess it's a phase C. Yeah, it must be a phase C. Oh, we should have pushed for the total defeat. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I think the Vanguard Hermann Gatling was coming in in phase C. Okay. Well, we deleted all the infantry uh, in that AA, so that's good. They didn't actually bring in anything else. Got everything that they brought in. It doesn't destroy them, unfortunately. 
but it does disorganize them. That's good. Okay. So the Vanguard Hermann Göring uh, was actually consistent all fall. <laughs> That's quite a nasty, a nasty surprise. That would have been a very nasty surprise. It, it can still be a very nasty surprise, guys, because that might actually attack my 125th Rider Ford Division. <laughs> and we don't have any um, action points here, so <laughs> that's nasty. They could definitely hit us back hard. But with all those units disorganized, it definitely leaves us with the opportunity to meet up with our southern forces soon. So let's uh, go ahead and make our movements for this turn. I'm definitely going to be pushing up the recon, of course. Uh, we'll move up the tanks. We can keep them relatively close to the front line. We do want to be spreading this line a little bit so they can't cut us off easily. Uh, we can also move these up to the bank. Uh, these are almost in position. I wish I had another one, like, behind. Because we are going to get attacked down here, probably, especially after we encircle, they're going to start moving around. I assume. Uh, up here, I'm probably going to want to dig these guys in. And I'm going to move these guys back so they're not in range to be attacked. Although, saying that, the 4th Recon Panzer Battalion can probably initiate on the 103rd. Although, I guess that would be the best outcome anyway. We can move these guys up. Uh, I don't particularly mind if they are attacked, so we're going to have them there. These can move behind them. Maybe like there. Keep them with enough action points to reinforce stuff that's nearby. We just need to blob up on Radzimin. And then continue pushing through the highway towards Warsaw. So these units here... They can probably just create some sort of like loose defense. I'll have one on there. Uh, we can have one, say, here. And then one here. And then the other one can just zoom through. It's fine. And those can all dig in. Actually, I don't know if I need that one to dig in there. Maybe we can just push up through here. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I'll move that one forwards as well. So we'll make a line that kind of sandwiches them into Warsaw and uh, keeps the pressure on on the bottom side. Because otherwise they might like push through here, right, and kind of maybe encircle or... I don't know if they'd be able to, but... Regardless, uh, we want this line to be in position. Uh, this tank regiment or brigade uh, definitely going to be squeezing them up all the way to Radzimin. So we got triple tank here. Uh, if any Panthers come in... We'll just send waves of T-34s. That's that's the plan. Uh, we have the 414th Artillery Regiment. Uh, may as well have them kind of reinforce the infantry further up. And this AA, I want it to be sort of here. Like where almost the Vanguard Hermann Göring Division is, but maybe a square to the left. That will defend against any attacks that come up towards Radzimin. Then we don't have to use our fighters to use air superiority every time. So let's bring it down here. I could actually move them into that position, but that's a really bad idea because uh, they would be attacked. So maybe I just go to like here. Could maybe squeeze forwards. A little risky. A recon battalion could probably attack them. I think this was the only recon in the area, so they're fine where they are there, I think. The next time I can just move it into position. I'm here really close to this objective though. Maybe in the next couple of episodes, or next couple of turns I guess, it will probably have to be. No, that won't be the next couple of episodes. <laughs> Considering how long these turns have been taking. Hmm. Alright, well let's just continue moving stuff for now. Uh, this just all needs to shift up. Uh, the 16th tank core we can keep closer to that line. Uh, now we need to set up like defenses around here, so I might shift them across. I'll keep those there, and then we'll have one unit here. And then another one 
further round. So that's going to be like our defensive line that kind of holds these in. We've got the concentration on the road, which is already dug in. Uh, these guys... I can probably move all of these up. How far can these go? Wow, they can go far. Alright, let's uh, back up our units here. It's all good. Also, can't we bring in the 70th Army units? We have the 25 points. Yeah, we'll bring those in. Good. Uh, this 60, 657th Rifle Regiment. I think we're going to need more infantry on this top side because we just got a load of battalion and brigade units. We need some substantial infantry up there. Whereas these ones, they can, these can all just go down the highway. And that one can just move into that slot. This is, that's as far as it can go. And uh, that one can go into there. And then these can all just squeeze up onto the top side. Like so. Okay, so our convoy is just <laughs> zooming down the highway towards Warsaw. Nice. Uh, let's see, we got the 60th Guard Tank Brigade. They're going to be zooming up as well. And the 29th Tank Corps with the IS-2s. We'll leave the Panthers here. We don't need to attack them. They need to attack us. So if I just stay away from them for like another turn or two... They're not going to be getting anywhere, they're just going to die. And, and the, well, I guess they won't die, they'll just get disorganized and just leave the tanks. They'll just disappear. So, that's all good. Right, this third guard's tank core. I'm going to move them up here. And we're going to have a unit that goes towards this road and actually sets up an entrenchment towards Minsk Mazowiecki because they're probably going to push out once they all get surrounded. And I reckon they might head towards this flag. Although they wouldn't be able to put the influence over the flag, so that wouldn't even be a problem. But that may be the way they head because the objective's there. Move the tanks round. Probably need to leave a unit there. I might just have those dig in. Have those dig in. And then we'll have one that's like two away from that one and then we'll have another one here and this one can reinforce on the road or to dig in on the on the road just keep them encircled port group can move around look at these guys great so that's all of that movement done and unfortunately guys it has been my time so Gonna leave it here. We've this episode sorted out this left side. We've still got the right side to do. I'm probably gonna make a few attacks here for sure. But this left side is all sorted. We've got all of our units moved and in position. We have a large concentration coming down the highway towards Warsaw. We're gonna dig in at Radzimin and try and face off against the Panthers there. We've got a lot of T-34 is in position to do so. But yeah, this right side's still pretty volatile. We're going to do a lot of damage here. It's going to be quite nice. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>